I, uh... Shoot, I don't remember. You don't remember? No. I think I'm a Pokemon, though. Okay. Do you remember what you look like? Uh... Like this. The ball swishes around. Okay. That's... <laughs>all right, he says, you better explain where you got that evidence from, because I recognize uh, that prisoner, was, and I know for a fact that? that they have been quarantined for everyone's safety. <laughs> I am going to use my... Under your palace? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, where's my list of skills now? The one that I can get a saving throw, so someone tries to do an intimidation. I mean, it's oh. called, is that a challenge? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you do need to roll focus to beat his intimidate. Okay, uh... There it is. Eh. Get in! Okay. With that, Lavi, you restore three revol resolve and ignore his intimidation. <laughs> three revolvers! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do you deny that this gentleman is here in within this building and is currently quarantined with a poker rose that you clearly know about? <laughs> <laughs> Percival pushes up his glasses. He is, his resolve is challenged. He says, yes, I was the one who arrested that individual who is coming towards a place where we're going to have multiple guests. I purposely stored the individual into an area where he would be safe and quarantined away from everyone else. If you had gotten this footage, then that means you had invaded a part of the palace you weren't invited in. Well, I didn't do it. It's just only provided to me. The point stands, though, sir. You knew that there was an individual contaminated with Pokerus, and yet you felt the need to accuse us of poisoning, uh, of poisoning Tapufini when the logical conclusion would be the person who is currently infected with Pokerus. Do you deny that, sir? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Resolve battle. <laughs> He looks at you and goes, You are standing trial for assaulting the Tapu Fini. And yes, I, we, you are standing trial for poisoning, paralyzing, and whatever. But I fail to see how this radiation and poker combination has done this to them. Objection! We did not poison them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that, that, that is sort of the point, is that they were already in a that uh, their state is what actually had them antagonize us to begin with. Bobby was only defending himself. At this point, Atlas will use his ability because... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. No, 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 no. Because, like, Atlas uses his ability, leader's authority, which means he can stop a cross-examination. Okay. And he, he steps in and says, at the moment, this conversation is going nowhere. Yes, this individual has been captured and brought down to a lower level. But at the moment, 
you claim that Tapu Fini is sick with this particular disease. While we now have the symptoms and cause of this disease, we cannot prove at this moment that that is what Tapu Fini is sick with. Uh, what if I have evidence? You may... We do actually have evidence. I, I know you do. Um... I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> so, here's what I'm going to do. Because Atlas used his ability to stop this cross-examination, this piece of evidence stops at the moment. So, you can come back to this with your report. I was just going to present the mask and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, go ahead. We have this mask, which belongs to Tapu Fini, and we found the chemicals with the uh, pokerus and radiation on it. Ooh, okay. All right, yeah. So we'll do a take that. All right, I see, I see. Take that! <laughs> take that! Percival responds, can you prove that mask belonged to Tapu Fini? That could be anyone's mask. Who else wears this mask? <laughs> yeah, who else wears this? <laughs> Her room has lots of collectibles from her home, Alola, and this is similar to one of those. So you found this- okay, so you found this in her room. Okay. No, we found it at the scene of the crime! Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> says the judges and Percy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and since you did have an escort with you, okay, they will take that. That she did have a radiated- very well. Okay. Atlas, Indy, and Ponya come together. We've got it, it's, why... Guys, um... it's, it's in a bag. It's in a bag. Don't worry about it. Everyone's, yeah. <laughs> everyone in the chat's freaking out. You poisoned everyone! <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, di I do remember saying last session that I just assume you guys have the capabilities to store this somewhere. So Yeah. So we know that uh, from the evidence, uh, the video, that the guy downstairs get has the pokerus, and he obviously give it... From all her time with with the guy, Tapu Fini got pokers from him. Now, we also know Tapu Fini was also made contact with Shaman earlier at the party. So I put it to you. Her being affected by pokerus and the radiation from hanging out with that Shaman that had been soaking up radiation from a place that we're not going to go into more detail about. Um, <laughs> right, while <well>, Colony. <laughs> while, mi while mixed, yeah, why, caused, why caused Tapu Fini to go into a fit of rage and made her aggressive. She had already displayed, demonstrated earlier that night a hostility towards Jade and other, and, and, and uh, yeah, Jade. <laughs> was pissed. Percival does not challenge this information. Ponya, Atlas, and Indy all come together. And they agree. Atlas says, in light of this evidence and the ir irrefutable recorded information that you presented, uh, we determine that the undeniable truth that Team Fresh Floof was indeed attacked by a sick individual. I feel that this is undeniable with the proof that they have presented. And so I award them 14. Y'all wanna, y'all wanna spend, you wanna spend one of your rerolls on that? Sure. 21 points. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Ponya states, while I do feel that Fresh Floof could have done better in defending Tapu Fini, I also feel that it is very concrete that they are innocent. 14 points. And then Indy says, well, crikey mites, I think you did it. I say, it's pretty solid. You presented a good case. I'm awarding you eight points. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Atlas says, because they were on trial for assaulting the Tapu Fini and nothing else, I feel that this case will be... And then Percival shouts... Objection! Whoa, your voice changed. <laughs> he then walks out onto the, the precipice and says... Hey folks, it's Venti. Most of you know that I'm now in charge of what's left of Team Vision, better known as the Shanana Gang. But did you guys happen to know that you can get posters of the old Team Vision Gang at LoadingCrewCrafts.com? There's a digital and physical poster that are both available. Use coupon code SLUSHY for 10% off your total order. 
But don't forget to pay it forward and help out your local hospitals, soup kitchens, and daycare centers. It's what Chad Dump Truck would have wanted. <sighs> Miss you, buddy. You eat your vegetables, wear your seatbelts, and listen to your parents. Okay? Okay. And uh, sayonara. Say that one right at least. This episode is brought to you by The Loading Crew Patreon, where $5 per month gets you access to all of our uncut streams and monthly lore packets. $10 and higher lets you directly affect the stories, with message inserts, naming baddies, and inserting your own NPC. Pledge today. These individuals may have proved themselves innocent in this regard, he points at. <laughs> <laughs> he points at the judges. But the rest of you can clearly see where they go, death follows. And I, for one, do not think it is appropriate for them to continue their adventures. <coughs> However, I think it's very useful to them to maybe, perhaps, work for us. And in that, I will say, he removes his glasses slowly and says, you're hired. Cover your eyes. Oh no! Behind, oh no! Um, behind yeah. his yeah, behind his glasses, in his eye sockets rests a red and green stone. Mm. Scarlet, you're in a fun little dungeon adventure. Yay, dungeon adventure! Da 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 da. -da, -da. I sure hope my friends aren't being, you know, brainwashed right now. All right. Anyway. So Prism, seeing a symbol on the ground, looks at Scarlet and goes, Scarlet, can you d identify what that is? Well, I don't really think I need to. It looks like a Lunala. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes sense. You, so We have a Lunala in the party, don't we? He seems very we polite do. and well in control of himself. He <laughs> is very, yeah, maybe a bit loud sometimes. It's fine. Yeah, Prism holds up the blue stone and goes, yeah, and just strikes at it. Yeah, do your thing, dude. Good job. Boop. Sweet. All right, let's continue, gang. Okay. You guys continue onwards, and you see a hallway with another observation deck. <laughs> and then down south, there is a... Ba -ba -ba -ba, there is another... What seems to be another storage room. Ah, uh, but there are two Fioni in the way. There are. So, how would you like to proceed? Hmm. I think we should all duck behind pillars. Not not just you, I meant everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited. We were doing really well. <laughs> everyone duck behind pillars. Okay, right. My shadow, it's go time, baby. I need you to sneak. Sneakity deekity. Alright, stuff time. And can you go up behind them? And then... Use your green crystal, sweetie, and take them out. <gasps> right. Nicely, if you can. I would okay. rather they were just knocked out, not dead. Thanks. Okay, 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 okay. He hops up and down. Can you roll his stealth? All right, go. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> he hops, he, like, slinks along behind them, ready to pop out. And with his green crystal, he has access to Predator, Trickery, and Solitude. That's interesting. What do they do? <laughs> Let's find out. Trickery. Possessor of Trickery has access to all trickster features. They may target themselves. Okay. They also gain stab on all target type moves. And they have Prankster, Frisk, Infiltrator, Pickpocket, and Runaway. Solitude covers the arena in a heavy mist, dividing its enemies. Affected creatures become aware of their allies as only vague silhouettes. Or okay. Predator has the access to brutal training, press, and all Taskmaster features. Treated as if their intimidate and command skills are of master rank. They may target themselves. Just use a move and he'll just KO them. All right. Well, I was thinking, you know, that um, the second one you said, if they don't know they're in a battle, would that move make it so that we're just completely invisible and not as silhouettes? Or would they uh, still be like, what the f***, where's this mist come from? Yeah, okay, sure, that'd be fine. Marshadow yeah. pr produce some mists, and roll Intimidate on Marshadow then. Alright. Uh, oh, it's not very good. You know what? He's also got Trickster. Bump that up to 66, because he's using his legendary aura. Alright, sweet. There we okay. go. Okay, they look at each other and go, uh, is this normal? No, I don't think so. 
let me roll a d10 real quick, because okay. there are certain things that they might discuss. I rolled a three. I do notice I am... Oh, jeez, it's... Is it one of those stupid human weapons acting up again? Yeah, probably. We should, uh... We should probably go report this and let them know that that thing's acting up again. Yeah, I'm kind of done with this. Our shift's almost over anyway. They walk away. Sweet. Okay, so... Scott is somewhat concerned that they possibly have human weapons in their possession. Like, right, guys, I think we really need to go down here. One, to circumnavigate the window. Two, to check out what they could be hiding. So let's head on in. All right. You guys head on in. Why can't I go in? <laughs> Whoa, that is a lot of red crystal. <gasps> Marshadow looks aghast. Okay, Marshadow. I will let you take a small piece just in case, but you got to promise me to just keep hold of it. Don't use it. He reaches up, grabs it, breaks a chunk off, and then yeets it at Prism. All right, fair enough. Um, if I touch this red crystal, does it do anything special? You reach out and touch it, and it feels icky to you, much like when touching Zar's crystal. Oh, yeah, no, don't like that. Don't want it. Okay, so what else can we find in here? All right, roll perception. Rolling perception. Nice. Okay, that is worth four. Roll four d50s. Okay, should I just roll them all at once? Yep, just go ahead. Forty-five. Okay, twenty-five, thirty. Okay, let's go with the two real quick. You find a piece of rare candy. Yay! I'll save that for Lavi. Ooh. Okay. While sifting through these, Kiza picks up a scroll and opens it and sifts through it, reading it quicker and quicker. She then gets excited and shouts, "Scarlet, come here, come here!" Ooh, ooh, ooh. What? 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 She hands you the <coughs> scroll, and on it are the green crystals, and then below there's j charts, graphs, very complicated alchemical formulas that show you different things, various reports, and at the bottom, it shows step-by-step -step instructions on how to make blue crystal, and even explains exactly what the blue crystal does. Ooh, what does it do? The blue crystal is essentially green crystal that has been influenced by humanity. Right. So what does that mean? <laughs> so essentially speaking, the blue crystals enhance human abilities. Right. Okay. So humans have the unique abilities to command, like, not necessarily, there's essentially humans' major skills are intuition, leadership, aura mastery, channeling, things like that. And blue crystal yeah. is essentially ways to enhance that. Cool, okay. That's cool. Why would they be interested in you making that? Kiza sifts through it and she's like, this is really, really old. I shouldn't have, like, messed with it as excitedly as I did. So she kind of puts it, like, together and puts it in her robes. Okay, so we're keeping hold of that. It might have been just an artifact they picked up. Maybe. I, I'll hold off on sending the evidence for now. Unless I feel like we need to. But it's uh, handy to have. Uh, Scarlet Prism perks up. He holds up a green orb. And in Ooh. you look inside and you can see something small and swirling. And it you can hear the voice go, Hello? Wait, is this a burst crystal? Hello? I hear Hello. somebody. Uh, Scarlet takes hold of it and tries to talk to it. It's like, hello. Hi. Are you a Pokemon? Wow. I'm not a Pokemon. I'm a human. Whoa. <laughs> Who are you? I, uh... Shoot, I don't remember. You don't remember? No. I think I'm a Pokemon, though. Okay. Do you remember what you look like? Uh, like this, the ball swishes around. Okay, that's... <laughs> In what way does it swish? Does it try drawing, like, a picture or something? Like, it, imagine, like, you're holding, like, a hamster ball, and inside yeah. is, like, this swirling goop. Okay, so you're a ball of goop. <laughs> oh, there's more of me. Oh, okay. Can, can you help me find more of me? 
Um, I've been split I up. You've been split up. Interesting. Um.